Meghnath Desai joining us from London, Medha Patkar of the Aam Admi Party. Sudhindra Bhadoria will join us of the BJP. Aman Sinha, spokesperson of the BJP. Sudhindra Bhadoria of the BSP will join us. My first question, Gaurav Bhatia. Gaurav, good evening. This, uh, you know, you can't, you're a politician, you represent the people. And as a politician, you cannot uh, choose to be quiet about businessmen who you are close to. You know, you are extraordinarily close to. You have been close to them for a very, very long time. But when the interests of 2.21 crore investors, 22.1 crore investors and 24,000 crore rupees of their public money is concerned, you can't afford to be quiet, Gaurav, just because you are close to Subroto Roy. In fact, today, your objectivity is at test. Your honesty will be questioned. And your silence is baffling. It's just baffling, Gaurav. Arnab, it shouldn't be baffling because uh, uh, the fact that I am here before you to answer your questions itself would show that the state government has acted in a fair manner, in a manner which is expected out of the state government. And I don't know why you are getting uh, political proximity into the picture because irrespective of proximity, first of all, the state government is supposed to act and abide by the order of the Supreme Court or the High Court, which in our case also the state government did, and I'll present those facts before you in a while. Before I am a politician, I am also a lawyer, and as a lawyer I must just say this before we proceed into the discussion, that because the matter is sub judice, at least I would refrain from commenting on the merits of the case. But yes, I will shed some light into what the state government did after they got the NBWs uh, yesterday. That, that much I will you know, try to explain to you. First of all, let's begin. After the NBW was received by the state authorities, by the SSP Lucknow, what was expected out of him? He was expected to look for the person... You couldn't even find him yesterday. The most, most extraordinary I, part of it. One second. I, I the will, most extraordinary part of it that the Uttar Pradesh government is so, I, is so thoroughly incompetent. You, I, the Uttar Pradesh I, I government is so thoroughly exercise. incompetent that you could I not find... I have done my exercise. You could I not find Subroto Roy yesterday. And I will play you, some you, facts you, before you You expect, you you expect me to believe, Gaurav, one small interjection. Please, do you do you no, expect me to me, believe? No, don't do that right now. No, First, you, let me place the facts and then you interject. But you, I request you. But I have one and question, then and then you can the take my question as part of your answer. My acted. question to you is this: Do you expect me to believe that the Uttar Pradesh government could not find this man Subroto Roy Sahara yesterday? Who is he? A magician? Did he take a carpet and fly away, or did he put vanishing ink all over himself? You have made the application of the law into a joke and it was a pathetic sight to see the Uttar Pradesh police unable to find Subroto Roy yesterday. Why did you do that, Gaurav? Why did you, why did you let him now, get away in that let, way yesterday? Now, now, now let me tell you that first of all, the moment the orders of the Supreme Court were received by the authorities in the state government, they started looking for Mr. Subroto Roy. Looking for And him. they visited Sahara Sheher, these... Yes, I'm. Let me just give you the details. How can you debate an issue without even knowing the facts, Arna? Looking if for you him have better what? facts than me, then you first tell your what? facts. He was not absconding. Then, then you I couldn't call you. someone on the phone and ask him where he was, and then just get him. I. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That uh, he had mentioned his location at Sahara Sheher in the mentioning that was done before the Honorable Supreme Court. The moment the orders were received at 8 p.m. at night on 26th of February. The state police officers, they started looking for him. They went to the Sahara Sheher in the morning to find him. He was not there in the morning at the Sahara uh, where was Sheher. He? And very importantly, and, and please pay attention. Please pay attention to no, this. Where was he? At 8 p.m. Like the state, listen to this, Arnab. It is important yeah, if you pay wonderful. attention to this. It's an Alice in if, Wonderland story. If a person story. is missing, then, then, the, then the state government... And the uh, police officers immediately issued a lookout circular for him. <laughs> they faxed it to the immigration department what so that saying? he does not leave the country. This, what this are you was saying? done immediately by the state police. I am telling you what the state police did and is uh, expected to do under law. To show you that it is not that the state police was acting in a partisan manner. 
Now, after that, the state police again went to the Sahara Shed the next morning and arrested Mr. Subroto Roy. They executed the non-bailable warrants. I after go, that, go. under 70, Section 76 of CRPC, uh, he was expected to be on. before the magistrate within 24 hours. They did not wait for the 24-hour period. In you fact, see, you they, see, the Samajwadi Party, yeah, the, the Samajwadi Party, Medha Patkar, Medha Patkar, no, no, no what's it? This is the most before this, this the magistrate. Is, this is the most unbelievable. Adab, if you, if no, you no, this is the most unbelievable. Jack if, and his beanstalk, you, Alice in Wonderland. What is unbelievable? It's a, it's a Jack and a beanstalk, Adab, Alice in Wonderland, orders, Pied Piper of Hamelin court, kind of story which you've just given out. And and and, 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 and let yeah, come on, you know, you know your your party. I'm sorry, your party. And your party leader... You don't leader, want to listen to me? I will be quiet No, I listen to you, obviously, and I understand. Quiet, but I want to speak if you allow me to. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but one second. You know, we, this, this is a non-fiction prog uh, program. You're making it a fiction program. What, what is... This is not a... This fiction is not program within, within 36 <laughs> hours. Within 36 hours, the non-bailable warrants okay, are executed. No yeah, come he on. He is escorted by Meghna police Desai, officers you buy to that. the court. Okay, he let's ask Meghna Desai in London whether he, whether he buys that. Meghna Desai, you buy that? that they just Why? Because, because Arnab, you... You have a different perception because you are biased towards the no, state I'm not government. Biased. No, without no, any I'm, concrete no, I'll tell you, God of God of one minute, I'm not biased. Proof, I'm will, not biased. You will cast aspersions on the government. I'm not biased. Right. One minute, God, 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 of, God of Bhatia, God of Bhatia, let's get everyone in. Yes. I'm not biased. All I know is that Mulayam Singh Yadav is the best advocate of the Sahara group always. Mulayam Singh Yadav has historically been the best spokesperson, best advocate best friend of the Sahara group. In fact, when you have problems with Jet I Airways, object, you don't need lawyers I because Mulayam Singh Yadav was fighting for you. Mulayam Singh Yadav was fighting for uh, government, Subroto Roy. This government is very conscious of its duties under the constitution and the statute. Okay, and if you Meghnath get the Desai. political proximity, I think it is unfortunate. No, I I know, the pro right this is Meghna not, this. I'll prove it. This is not I'll prove the proximity in a minute. To yeah, Meghna Desai. Meghna Desai. And that is what the I'll prove the proximity in a minute. Meghna Desai. Please do. I'm here to answer. In, no, let, let's put it this way. In no other country, in no other country, would a man who has been given several notices by the Supreme Court to pay up or to appear before it would be able to escape, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 uh, the long arm of the law this many times. Now, obviously, he has influence in high places, but I think I'm pleased that at last he has been put under police custody because it is intolerable. Intolerable that just because he's a rich man and an influential man, he should be able to escape the kind of punishment that everybody else takes. I mean, you know, he he's owed he owes thirty thousand crores or some such material, uh, which the Supreme Court is asking to pay him. Sebi has uh, uh, found him out. Now, how long can he escape? Well, he can escape for as long as the politicians line up and seek his favors. In fact, no, I'm I told that I, a lot of politicians have used coming, this place yeah, in let's, the past. Let's, let's, no, one minute. Mulayam Singh yeah. Yadav, Mulayam Singh Yadav, no, Mulayam Singh you know, Yadav it, is it the may, best it advocate. May be, it may be. The contention here is Medha Patkar. Mulayam Singh Arnav, Yadav if, is the... If you take my leader's name again, yes. I would strongly object to it. I will Please take don't it. take his name when we are talking about a Supreme Court order. I will, I will take... What I will, has Mr. I, Mulayam Singh Yadav I, got to do in okay, this? Now, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you. I thank you for your objection. Please objection overruled. Now I'll tell yes. you why. Because Mulayam Singh Yadav, as chief oh, minister, are, as luckily, chi luckily you are not the judge here. Luckily you are not the judge here. You if can I call object, me. You then see, it is on a basis. You, you, you call me. You me see, wrong. one minute, one minute, one minute. Why, by the way, why? Gaurav, 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 I know, I know, you know that Mulayam Singh Yadav is watching now, and I know that you know that Akhilesh is watching now, and and you know. It is unparliamentary. Yeah, no, no. You you want to make Mulayam Singh happy, and you want to make Akhilesh happy. One minute, Lord Desai. One second, Mr. Desai. One minute, Mr. Desai. My protest. Okay. Please register my protest. I register if, your protest. If a democratically elected government, which is conscious of its duties, okay. and you start casting aspersions on the basis of your beliefs, 
Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, I'd like to tell you this, that yeah. Mulayam Singh Yadav is elected to represent the people of, the, of his state. Mulayam Singh Yadav is not elected to be a stooge of a yes. corporate group. And Mulayam Singh that Yadav was I'm Chief objecting. Minister of Uttar Pradesh that in 2006. Let the people of this country listen to the truth about what Mulayam Singh Yadav has done. Now, if you want to heckle me in the middle of this, then the viewers will think that you are trying to stop me not. from telling the viewers I the will. truth. I and the will truth, not be another And the Arda. truth is this. Is it, is it true yes. or not, Medha Patkar, that Mulayam Singh Yadav was Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh in 2006 when he openly and publicly uh, supported the Sahara it Group in its tussle with Jet Airways? He blamed the Congress Party for the collapse of an aviation deal. At that point of time, Mulayam Singh Yadav could take a position between two private corporate entities. But he will not take a, a position on the basis of the investors who have been defrauded allegedly, allegedly, by Sahara. So why should we not ask that exactly. question? Medha Patkar, exactly. Medha Patkar, your response to Gaurav Bhatia. Don't you think the Supreme Court Ma is competent to Medha Patkar, Medha Patkar please. I... Medha Patkar, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I have heard the question properly, but uh, what Gaurav Bhatti, Bhatia ji is doing is very, very unparliamentary and they do the same thing in the parliament, which needs to be changed. But this is the political, uh, you know, patriotism or patriarchal support to the companies. And it all goes in the name of <coughs> development, growth, industrialization. And the, it's very clear that each party has their pet companies. They change sides sometimes, like the Ambani's are supposed to be now with Modi's as the, it is the talk of the corridor. But it's clear that uh, they do not represent the people as much as they represent these big corporates and that is why the laws change in favor of the corporates and even the agencies like SEBI in spite of their truthful assessment which also is courageous and the court's judgments which are also fair judgments they are uh, always allowed to escape if they could do it uh, forever well and good if not they are caught as Mr. Subrata Roy is and these corporates are omnipresent they change, uh, they uh, spread from one sector to another and earn vulgar profits, which is why the people are hungry, people are uh, not uh, well clothed, and, uh, people have no shelter in this country. And all of this, therefore, is not only lost to the state exchequer, but it is unconstitutional and against the people's rights, the taxpayers' rights, and taxpayers the include are the poor Mr. and Gaurav the rich both. No, So the I think uh, what is... The, 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 uh, this, this question needs to be asked. Uh, Megha, Meghna Desai, you want to come in? Can I just go to Aman Sinha, spokesperson of the BJP? Um, you know, the same question goes to the BJP. You're on the program tonight, but your top leaders are conspicuously silent. Narendra Modi is silent. Sushma Swaraj is silent. Arun Jaitley is silent. Rajnath Singh is silent. Venkaya Naidu is silent. Anand Kumar is silent. Even Prakash Jaudekar was dodging the question today. Now, you did... Just to take you back, when the Satyam scam happened in 2009, Mr. Sinha, the BJP had nothing to do with the Satyam scam, but you called for a joint parliamentary probe in the matter. You even called for a CBI investigation in the case of the Satyam scandal. The Satyam scandal was a case of alleged corporate corruption, not directly implicating the government as the case of 2G and Colgate, and yet the BJP spoke about it. Why then the silence in the case of Sahara, Mr. Sinha? Why? Ornob, in fact, the silence is from the Congress side. BJP is being represented here and, you know, as long as a spokesperson of party is there, everybody need not speak at the same time, at the same moment. Ornob, you know, uh, you, uh, you have, I'm sure you've heard of the legal maxim, be you ever so high, law is above you. And I, I feel that in this case, once Supreme Court had given clear directions to the Sahara chief to appear before them on 26th of February, he should have complied to those directions. And if he did not comply to those directions, he has to face the consequences. Everybody in this country, whether he is a, he is a rich man or a poor man, whoever he might be, he has to abide by the rule of law. And if he doesn't abide by the rule of law, he has to face the consequences. No, that's all right, sir, but we are almost having to pull a reaction out of you and we are getting... No, no, Mr. Sinha. Mr. Sinha, the BJP puts a political spin on the National Spot Exchange Limited scam, NSEL scam. You crucially criticize the government. You <coughs> ask what has happened to the investors' money. Investors' money has also been affected in the Sahara case. Why can Prakash Jaudekar speak on the NSEL scam? Yashwan Sinha speaks on the NSEL scam. But Prakash Jaudekar is quiet in the case of this scam. 
and Yashwan Sinha has not even issued a statement. You know, I am not taking any conclusions, but there are Arnab, enough even BJP in the past, leaders, we have spoken enough on BJP this leaders who are often spotted with Subroto Roy, and you know that. It's not cricketers and film stars alone. Arnab, and I want to be sure that your past, personal relationships past, with corporates don't affect issues. the political stand you take. Arnab, if, if you may just allow me to complete, even in the past we have spoken on this issue and we all have to realize and acknowledge that Supreme Court of India is seized of this matter. They are closely monitoring this matter. SEBI is pursuing this matter. And wherever, you know, there See, is, this uh, is now, this any is lacuna now or any, you, you know, Aman, uh, Aman, you think that you think when I ask you, we'll obviously I point it no, out. No, you all want Arnab, to hide. if I may so, just respond no, no, to what Ms. Medha Patkar said. Now I know what you do. I will agree. Ms. Medha Patkar leveled an allegation against BJP. Yes, yes, Medha Patkar leveled an allegation against BJP. Go ahead, complete your point. She was accusing BJP of siding with the Ambani's. The, you know, there is a great difference between rhetoric and facts, Arnab, and the real test lies in your actions. This is the same party on the last the day party. of their government in Delhi. They gave 372 crores of public money to Reliance and Ambani's, and they are, they are accusing others of uh, siding with, uh, uh, you know, Ambani's and Reliance. This is their hypocrisy. They, the, you know, hard-earned public money of 372 crores, which was collected from taxpayers, was given to these companies, these private discoms owned by the Reliance Group. And she is accusing others of siding with the Reliance. How many press conferences have you had on the KGD6 issue? As, as they no, one minute. Do, as they no, one minute. Do. I'll ask you just one, one simple question, okay? How many press conferences and how many senior leaders and how many times have your top leaders, including Mr. Narendra Modi, taken a position on the alleged issue of gold plating by Reliance in the KGD6 issue? How many times and how many leaders have done that? Why don't you just tell us now? How many times? How many times have your party <clears throat> leaders had press conferences on the alleged defrauding, alleged, and consider the observations made by the Supreme Court at various cases ever since the legal battle between Sebi and Sahara began in 2011? Haven't you read it? You don't know about it? Or you pretend not to know? Or you no, pretend even today no, I'm saying no, so that what is Medha Patkar saying? Medha you know, Patkar says the, when it comes to big corporates, you don't have the spine. The, you know, the She's saying money when it comes to big common, corporates, you, know, you don't have the common spine. Common people which was invested in these OFCD should be refunded right away. Oh, really? Medha it is Patkar, the order of the Supreme Court of India. Medha Patkar, you're satisfied with that? You think it answers the question? No, no. I think uh, I didn't hear the answer clearly, Anna. Uh, can you repeat? No, no, when it is not convenient for them to hear, they lose the voice and everything starts happening to them. Please, please again reiterate that you know, 372 crores of public money now, was now given to Reliance hear. Group by the Aam Aadmi Party. Then you should respond if you can hear me. By the Aam Aadmi Party? He alleges... No, no, let the oh, Aam yes. Party you are in power in Delhi. respond to this and we will. And... Uh, Pardon I, me? I thought you were going to contest on Aam Aadmi Party ticket, madam. Pardon me? Uh, Aman, no, Aman Arnab, this is very remarkable. Yes, Aman, 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 the allegation Aman, 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 Okay, you want to reply? Go no, ahead. No, I'm very clear. Anybody the party, no? who does not abide by the rule of law has to face the consequences. And Mr. <laughs> Subroto Rai should also face the consequences yes. can, of whatever violation of law so or you, of the Supreme you Court order action. that he has done. So you take action, please. You take action. You take action. Let BJP take action oh, you will and keep make uh, clear away all the positions public money and then you'll Adani. Start let Congress that take, take position action. on Ambani. And let... Of course, because I am not madam, a part of Please, madam, don't make such baseless allegations. I have leveled a specific... About. I have given Arda. you a specific instance where the Aam Aadmi Party government has given away 372 crores of public money right. to these private discoms owned by Reliance Group. What do you have to say about your, that? Your party... Apart from making all the wild sweeping uh, allegations... Aman, Aman Sinha, others? Aman Sinha... Let, let Aman the, Sinha, are you avoiding party, a question? Are you avoiding a question on Subroto Roy because because and you have spoken in favour of your party's that. prime ministerial what is the candidate? Party? You are a candidate of the party. Aman You're Sinha, one minute. You are representing your party. Aman Sinha, don't have a private conversation there with Medha Patkar, please, if you allow me. Now I think that no, the I'm BJP. I'm not the representative no, sure, sure. of the party. One, one minute, please. You see, look at look at the BJP spokesperson's very intelligent strategy. He realizes he has no answer on the case of Subroto Roy. 
he also realizes that it is absolutely true that his party has not committed itself on subroto roy specifically so i ask him a question that mr subroto roy i, I ask him a question as to face consequences of all his I actions and omissions that he's made i i no that's a, that's the kind of blase reply that you can use to describe anything <laughs> if if i talk to you about why did why did climate change happen in the jurassic era you can use the same answer to reply there that's no answer the fact of the matter no, is no no absolutely not i'll the, give you the a different answer the fact of the matter is this my question to you was you put a political spin in the case of the nsel scam you put a political spin in the case of uh, the cwg scam in the case of the 2g scam in this case you are completely and embarrassingly silent <coughs> and and the question is simple that the bjp no, lacks Arnab, the would, spine the bjp lacks the spine to take a position when it comes to reliance when it comes to kgd6 basin <laughs> the bjp lacks the spine when it comes to sahara and i have not seen any press conference by top bjp leaders either on the issue of alleged gold plating in 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 the kgd6 basin or in the case of sahara somewhere all the outrage which you feel when you felt in the case of cwg or railgate evaporates when it comes to these two cases so here it fair and clear mr aman sinha don't think the people Arnab, of this country are foolish respond, or that the media of this country will not ask questions before i go back to sudhendra badoria lord meghnath desai yes please no no absolutely lord meghnath desai please allow me to respond Let's, now lord meghnath desai let's return to the debate the, lord meghnath desai the the real the real scandal lord meghnath desai the real scandal is lord desai reply just one minute just lord desai is reply the real scandal is i'm 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 just lord desai all these cases of corruption the real scandal is 2g c lord Shut Just say please. Can we have his volume up and the other one down? Just shut up. Just shut that man up. Shut that man up. Is the real scan? Real scandal is. Real scandal is. One minute, sir. Real, real scandal is that many, many small investors' money has been embezzled, and these political parties have never spoken up for small investors. neither mamta banerji in the chit fund case nor nor these people uh, in a, in in the sahara case and this scandal has been going on for years and it it took sebi to catch no, no, this where was the government so where was the reserve bank of india cannot be level against you know, and and none of none of these people none of the, it, it, we had to wait till uh, the sebi uh, got uh, the supreme court into the act so small investors have been cheated because political parties are only interested in big money well said let's get let's get the that bsp in the allegation could be directed to towards BSP congress in. but bjp my question BJP is let's get the aman aman sir now one minute please please, please come in mentioning. when please come in just wait a minute now miss now mr oh, sudhendra badoria sure. is it true oh, do shut up is it true that there was a private deal please uh, mr desai mind your language you know if uh, you know you you must you know considering your age if people give you the same time with the language do shut okay, up okay, sir so you also please sir, do shut up do shut up sir please do shut up all sir honored 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 leader of the bjp oh God, what is this debate yeah. going on honored sir. leader of the bjp Mahashay, 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 Mahashay. Okay, Jal. Okay, okay. Bade bade Mahashay, bade bade Mahashay. No, please. Bade bade Mahashay, bade bade Mahashay. Aapko pranam, aapko bahut bahut pranam. These antiques will eat up all your time. Aap itne maan niya hai. Aap itne maan niya hai ki ham ham to chote hai bhai. Ham to chote aadmi hai. Ham to bahut chote aadmi hai. Aap bade aadmi hai. Ham kya kare? अच्छा ठीक है अच्छा ओके वंडरफुल 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 ओके नाउ यर द क्वेश्चन द अदर क्वेश्चन इज आई थिंक वी वी शुड बी वॉचफुल ऑफ आवर लैंग्वेज एट लीस्ट ओके 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 दैट्स आई 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 द समाजवादी पार्टी ऑलवेज लाइक से के हाई मोरल ग्राउंड नाउ आई वांट द ट्रुथ आउट ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम इट्स नॉट अबाउट हाई मोरल ग्राउंड यू माइंट द ऑन द ऑन द सिक्स बट दैट डज नॉट मीन यू स्टार्ट कॉलिंग पीपल बाय नेम ओके ओके फाइन 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 बट आई विल जस्ट टेल यू वन थिंग दैट अ फ्यू डेज बैक there were a, there were two uh, politicians who on the floor of the up assembly took out their shirts and stripped right? then a cabinet minister who's your party colleague was seen in pictures telling the telling those mlas that why don't you take off your clothes under the waist as well and then later he spoke about it he said they did not reflect their manhood if they took off their clothes we would have known about that as well so you know what this whole yeah. business about 
talking well are you are you inspired by the parliament or the assembly well, i think we should both. set an example or i'm shocked by both gaurav yes we should set an example yeah, i'm shocked by both. even in our differences did you, we can did you, be civilized did you, did you tell azam khan to mind his language anyway that's when let's not go astray my Arnab, question i i would Sudhendra, I would always stick to the basic principles of debating. I think we are okay, now we are, we, are, we are getting distracted. Uh, no we are getting distracted. Let's go back. I agree with you. Sudhendra Badoria, what exactly is the relationship between the BSP and Sahara? Well, as far as uh, the Sahara Shri Shri Subrat Roy is concerned, the entire uh, UP, particularly from Gorakhpur to Noida hmm. and across the country knows the meteoric rise of Sahara Shri and uh, Shri Mulayam Singh Yadav when he became the what chief are you minister alleging? first time in 1989 have started together have started together let me let me just you have given me a time after 30 minutes just let me finish it off in one minute their meteoric rise and this cheat fund was a cheat fund, C-H-E-A-T, cheat fund. It was not a cheat fund. The small investor's money was taken from one place to the other on, and the false dreams were sold to the people about housing, about small, small things that would go to these small consumers living in countryside, living in small towns. And that entire money was used for the lavish lifestyle of some people, for the politics of some families and that is what is the result when Supreme Court has to intervene and we have seen that he's uh, saying that he wanted to be with his mother but people ma means mulayam not the mother because when the police went there he was not there so if you he was say that, then I would say house. Mayawati so has been in power for four occasions so then Mayawati also was giving patronage to him? Yes, most certainly. Why are you silent on that? Could have, Don't could take... Have no, not at all. I would only say contrary. this. On Mayawati was in power four action. times during the tenure. She... So then Mayawati was giving... Was patronizing yeah, him? Arnab Goswami, Do you have an answer Mayawati to that? He was the chief minister. That yes. was the only time. That yes. was the only time when uh, action four was time. taken. How Please did he prosper when action. Mayawati was and in power? You, four times. Due process. Due process. Why, why didn't you take law, action? Law, if you think that he was cheating on people, no, 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 all one the minute, time. One, one minute. One minute. Legal gentlemen, really? gentlemen, I come on. Today, when we come in between both of us, no, no, no. One minute. One minute. Both of you. Both of you. Keep quiet for a minute. Just one minute. Just one. I would only. I have a follow-up question. Don't take, don't follow take any question. names without any substance. Don't get touchy. Yes. Don't get touchy. Just Please I don't take any leader's question. name. Gaurav. I object to that. Gaurav. You want to, uh, you want to have a debate with me? Gaurav. You have a debate with me with some substance. Gaurav Bhatia, one minute. Gaurav, you know, first of all, let, let everyone have yes. their say, right? Yeah. Uh, no, but then if he's taking my leader's name, why would I not interrupt? I never took any leader's name. Let's have a debate. That is what, at least civilized and is backed by substance. Is it, uh, is is having a there is the substance he's making. And he's he's making wild allegations. Sahara. And I'm supposed to hear those? Is it unconstitutional to take it your leader's name? It is not a wild allegation. All the time, Sahara is with Mulayam and Mulayam is with Sahara. That the whole country knows. No, I asked you a Mayawati question, also. Mr. Badoria. You didn't answer that. One minute. I asked you four times Mayawati was the chief minister. Was she patronizing him? No, Gaurav, Gaurav. Why don't you answer Gaurav, that? Gaurav, Gaurav, by which, by saying which, not you are making all. a big admission. Not the least. In fact, whatever no, action I'm was not. taken, it was due to her regime. I, I have Sarah's replied. I have no, no, replied no, 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 to your question, Gaurav, Arnab, you that made a very, how the made state a very, government uh, acted you, fairly. You've made a very suspicious yes. remark. I'm sorry, but you have made a remark that... Not at all, because, in my, in, in because my, if Gaurav, Mr. Badoria please let makes me complete, an allegation, please, you know, Gaurav, then this is my counter question to him. Please let me complete him. what I'm saying with respect to you. The question tonight is this. Anybody watching the news are will say that here is the Samajwadi spokesperson who has just admitted on national television that if you have to... Not prosper, at all. If you have to not at all. <laughs> I have not even said what... what, what if you give me you one say, minute, I will tell no, you, I won't give you a how I can show you need, that the you need state government acted in a sentence. fair manner. And I believe, I'll give you five I points. That and Bhatia, then you examine. You are, you are resorting to a very uh, uh, devious but transparent strategy. When the tough question is put, you stop me from speaking. So, but Gaurav, I'll say this to you. My question is this. Certain facts. My question five is, gentlemen, you don't want facts. I'll tell you what the fact is. Now I'll share a, I will share a very uncomfortable fact with these two gentlemen on the screen, right? 
I didn't want to do it, but I'll do it now. Okay? Now, I have some information tonight I want to share with the viewers. My information is that both Samajwadi and BSP equally locked in with Sahara. Now, this is what some people say. And by the way, the allegations that you make tonight, Mr. Sudhindra Badodia made with your knowledge, okay? They don't carry my approval. The case is in the Supreme Court. We respect the Supreme Court yeah. of India. They will decide eventually. Question is this. Yeah. On the 4th of June 2008, when Mayawati was in power, right, the UP government sent a letter to the Reserve Bank of India asking for stringent action against the Sahara India Financial Corporation in a matter related to the security of d deposits of investors. Is it true that you, you were going to take this strong action? Mr. Badoria, you are aware of this? Yes or no? Well, I have said that. that no, 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 one yes or no. Taken was so far, have I said time. anything incorrect? So far, have I said anything? I have incorrect? already said that. I have answered your question before you had raised this question. In yeah, fact, but you know, you know the, problem with you, the problem uh, with you, Mr. Badoria, is that you gave half the story to my viewers. And for me, it's very important viewers get the full story. The no, full story no, no. is this. I, I, you the see, full story, the, the full story is this. Had, the I've full story is this. Much back in history. The full from story is this. From onwards, when Mayavati was not even the chief minister. Achha, the full story. And listen, the meteoric rise listen, started simultaneously listen to the, for listen, people. Listen to the full story. The full story is at 15 minutes past 12 noon. Hmm? Two days later. So on the 4th, you, the Mayavati sends a letter saying we really need to take action to protect investors. We need to take action against Sahara India Financial Corporation. You send a letter to the RBI. Within 48 hours, Pat, a mysterious visitor enters Mayavati's house. Gaurav Bhatia, this part will be very interesting for you. It's 15 minutes past 12 and a car comes into Mayavati's house and there is a meeting between two people. Hmm? Mayavati meets one person. After this meeting... Within hours of this meeting with this person, the BSP government changes its position on Sahara. Okay. Yeah. Do you know who that meeting was with, Gaurav? Do you know who I'm talking about? No, I don't know. Please tell me. Uh, and I think even the viewers want to know. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, well, you may have this... Uh, no, no, one minute, one minute. Now, look how both of you are on the back foot. I think no, all look, look, look what, look what both of you are on the back foot. No, this is all concocted. If no, whatever I want to action, know the, the whole Uttar Pradesh knows this, that Bahen Mayavati was the only person who took action against <laughs> look Sahara. There. Look I there, you both of these are all concocted. Oh, one minute, look there, I'll tell you the full story. Now, let me share the full story with the viewers. The saying. person who Mayavati had a meeting with, no, 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 the no, person who Mayavati had a meeting with on the subject, his name is Mulayam Singh Yadav. Sahara has been selling Mayavati had a meeting with Mulayam Singh Yadav. Mayawati had a meeting with Mulayam Singh Yadav, please both of you. And the uh, ostensible subject of the meeting was to discuss the constitution of the person. UP Human Rights Commission. Arnab. No, one minute. Gaurav, listen to the full it story and then react. Okay, it is impossible. Listen to the full story and then react. It is impossible. Well, this is, of course, there if are you, meetings. If you say when that, I strongly Mulayam deny it. Leader of, in the assembly it is so, impossible. And in the, some of the it is impossible. Party, Gaurav, I'm, just, I'm putting two and two together. The okay, meetings listen, are held. It's so clear to people. No. No, on the fourth, no, 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 you are. On, on I, the I only urge you. Not on the fourth, let us source? come to the fact. What are you today relying he on? He owes twenty-four thousand, twenty thousand crore rupees. Mr. To Badoria, investors, Mr. Ba him. The Mr. Mr. Court has Mr. Mr. Badoria, we please, are the only uh, ones in the let, country please don't today get so, who are saying. Don't get so defensive that you both don't let me speak. I will complete my comment and then get reactions. Allow me. Three things no, happened no, no, no. to dear I'm viewers. Let me tell you, three things happened. We are saying that the Supreme Court decision should be implemented. I and heard you the SEBI's direction should be also I followed you strictly. I that heard is you, what Mr. we are Badoria. demanding. I heard you, Mr. Badodia, but let me now tell the viewers, just give me 30 seconds. You but know do you know this thing on the on, on there other channel? Again. There is a Samajwadi party per yeah, leader there, there who is go. saying but, that the SEBI is wrong. Mr. The Badodia, the fact of the matter is this, if you allow me 30 seconds. Three things happen and the viewers need to know this. Three things happen simultaneously. I have decided now, Mr. Badodia, to disregard the heckling and continue with the truth. Three things happen. On the 4th, Mayawati writes to the RBI saying take tough action against Sahara India Financial Corporation. On the 6th, there is a meeting between Mayawati and Mulayam. 
the world is told that the meeting is about the constitution of the up human rights commission but within 3 or 4 hours of the meeting up the the the, the, the government of uh, mayawati says that the state government is of the view that the rpi is the competent authority to take final decision in the matter as it alone is in the view of full and complete facts circumstances and documents which have resulted in the passing of the said order and in fact the up government official wanted his earlier letter treated as withdrawn in view of the above observation medha patkar please tell me is it possible that the mayawati government on the Arnav, 4th of june i would june like to come in first no, if you are uh, making an allegation let me i am not respond. making an allegation i am simply please. saying three things please remember you one are. thing Remember you one are, thing. This you is, are making this an allegation. I am not making an allegation not against us. Why, where is the allegation? I am simply saying that three Northern things happen. Electoral Can politics. I? I am simply saying that three things happen. Arna, not this side. I am simply saying that three plea. things happen. I may be making a plea. Arna, that is all. I, 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 I think it is unfortunate that you are not allowing us to speak. Gaurav Bhatia, one minute. Gaurav, Gaurav, there are other panelists. Let three things happen. Mayawati decides to go but against. But then you were talking about my party leader. I have uh, to decide. I have to speak. Yes, and but I have others to can have a view. My party you see, and you, my party you leader. talk about Mulan. your party. You making, a, no, but if you make a, a plea, if you make knows. a reference to my party. Yes, but your party leader you is not the supreme. My party is leader, not the supreme leader I, of the country. Please remember no, you know, the way you, I am saying, Mr. Mulayam Singh Yadav can be then, talked about. Then you, why, you can't, you can't make it appear, Mr. Mr. Gaurav Bhatia. Please do not interrupt me now. Every time I mention it, three things happen. I will repeat it, Mr. Oh, Gaurav Bhatia. Let others also come in. I'll come to you. No, three, Mr. Gaurav Bhatia. Please, this, Mr. Bhatia. Please understand this. Three things happen. Mayawati decides to go. Why Mayawati decides to go against Sahara? Then Mulayam meets Mayawati hmm. on another subject. Within hours of that, Mayawati decides not meeting. to go against Sahara. It is, it I am not meeting. saying that Mulayam influenced the decision. He, All I am saying is very interesting. As a leader of opposition, it's very, it's, he he it's, it's very interesting. It's supposed to meet. It's very, very interesting and intriguing. It's very interesting and intriguing. You are, you are failing to understand. There As a no leader of opposition, of Mr. Mulayam Singh Yadav is supposed Meghna to meet the Desai. CM because I'm, I'm the not, statute I'm not says born so. Yesterday statute that says so. Mr. Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, I, much as you may like to think I so, say, I am not born yesterday I that say, I think a le opposition leader can't meet Mayawati. Say. All I'm saying is moments after the opposition no, leader meets Mayawati, she changes her position on Sara. That's all. So I'm not then, saying Mulayam, you are being were on you the defensive. Present at the meeting? You've gone on I the defensive on the subject. You no, but then let because you are asking aspersions, I have made an assertion. It is not fair. I have only been, I, I have made an observation. Why are you then mentioning the meeting? Can I well, say? Well, there is a meeting. Why, why are you mentioning the meeting? Why are you Can embarrassed about a meeting? You they are saying meet. that Mayawati softened her stand no, after the meeting that. because I, no. you are giving the sequence no, I'm to not, give this yes, impression to the stand. viewer, which I which I don't accept. Fine. Please remember, don't forget who nominated Mulayam whom. It was a statutory meeting. Meghna Desai. Meghna Desai. Sahara Shreem, which is known across the country. Meghna Desai, please. Meghna Desai. Meghna Desai. I think the strength, the the strength of their protest, the strength of the protest of those people almost proves that they know they are guilty. Who is, the, who is those people? Uh, really? Who is those the people? The people who are not letting you speak. You mean Gaurav Bhatia? People are not letting you speak. Right. Well, I, I, I don't know who is who, but uh, I can't see anybody sitting in London. Well, it's I can't Bhatia. see anybody sitting in London. No, no it's Gaurav Bhatia. Gaurav Bhatia says today he's building a distance between Subroto Roy, Saha, Subroto Roy and Mulayam Singh. It's fine. I'm not saying that Subroto Roy and so Sahara, uh, Subroto Roy, Sahara I Group and Mulayam Singh Yadav are very close. But I am saying that in 2003 when Mulayam Singh Yadav came to power, he nominated Subroto Roy to the UP Development Council. Right and and when and Many and, and, and Mulayam Singh Mulayam Singh Adi, Adi also Godre, Godre, Mulayam Singh Kumar also Birla, T, TMA Pai, yeah. why do you forget these names yeah, yeah, but, but, but there was a Godre, fight Kumar between Mangalam, Birla, there, was a, Ambani, there was a so fight then, between no no one second there was why, a fight why do you say that he was nominated no, no, I'll keep it I'm not making no Arna please be fair I am this I am is simply, don't don't give half facts to the viewers. Yeah, I'll give you the complete fact. Don't give fact. half facts to now, the viewers. Now let me share the complete fact. The complete fact is this that in 2006 there was a huge fight between the Congress party and Mulayam Singh Yadav. And do you know what the fight was about? Again, the fight was about Subroto Roy. No, Subroto you Roy says, you Subroto Roy says that uh, you are getting back at, uh, Mulayam Singh said that you are raiding and troubling people like Subroto Roy because I have made them members of the UP Development Council. 
And Subroto Roy said in an interview in March last year, he said, everybody offered me a Rajya Sabha seat, but I will never join politics. I don't know who that everybody is. One can only imagine who offered him a Rajya Sabha seat. Then when Subroto Roy had a problem, with, getting, had a problem with uh, Subroto Roy, when he had a problem with Jet Airways, it was it Mulayam Singh who came out. forces which said the Anil Ambani into Rajya Sabha. I don't, you see, I, now, I'm only now, stating Arda, facts tonight. Can I just tonight. say one thing to you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think it is important tonight that we talk about the issue in hand. The, issue, is the issue in issue hand that? is whether the state government was following the rule book, whether the state Meera government Patkar. was performing its duties. If you give me, just, just listen to me, Arna, don't interrupt, I request you. The UP Meera police Patkar. searched for him immediately after getting the NBW. Then they yeah. issued the lookout circular. After that, he was arrested within 36 hours. Then he was escorted by the okay, police so in a police vehicle. After that, he was produced before the magistrate. Does it does it appear no, to I'm, you that the I'm, state I'm, I'm making another observation job? that if, I'm, if I'm, I'm not mistaken, I'm no, I'll just I make factual observations. You. Factual observation, Meera Patkar, is this. I'm I'm let's get Meera Patkar. I would like to. No, no. There is something is called the there is something called the SEBI amendment bill. One minute. No, sir, there's something. You know, there is something called the SEBI amendment bill. The SEBI amendment bill is, is intended to provide more strength to SEBI to crack down on Ponzi schemes. You know, Ponzi schemes, dubious cheat fund schemes. And I am not making any accusation against Samajwadi party. Why should I? But I am just saying that even Gaurav Bhatia knows that his party is bitterly opposed to the SEBI amendment bill. In other words, his party is bitterly opposed to attempts to give the SEBI more Arda, strength to crack down on Ponzi Arda, schemes. Listen to me. Why is a this? Bill, a bill can be opposed on, on the basis of the form Meda Patkar. and the language and the way it is being presented. Meda Patkar, Why? you buy that? See, if you say that Samajwadi Party Meda Patkar. has opposed Please. it, Meda Patkar. that means there's more than me. See, I Meda Patkar is corporate. replying to <laughs> I am saying that the uh, nexus between the political and corporate, politicians and corporates is weakening the whole democracy. Not just SEBI, but every single agency and institution. So they don't want the strong acts. They don't want Jan Lokpal. They don't want the state level uh, enactments that would strengthen the present Lokayuktas or no Lokayukta states also. And hence, uh, this goes on. Meeting between Mayawati and Mulayam Singh need not be questioned unless we know the details of the talks there. But without even meeting, it is very clear that all the politicians in the so-called mainstream parties with due exceptions are hands in gloves with the corporates and they don't talk about the corporates they are with no, but like the Modi is with Adani who earned 47,000 crores worth estates in 15 years yeah. and uh, yet their lawlessness, their uh, rajakta, their uh, violation of laws and regulations are not questioned because if one questions it then the others would question the uh, the others also so they know that they are Arnav. in the uh, you know the uh, same ship yeah. and uh, you know they are in the common voyage and hence it is necessary that only the arm log arm insan the nagrik of this country should raise the voice and it is also necessary that the strong enactments come <coughs> into being but well, it is also necessary Arnav, that the top corporates which are Arnav. also funding the elections are Gen exposed ladies, ladies and, and gentlemen totally that, short of time, uh, the, uh, the, the point is this tonight, political parties Arnav, should take a tough position on these issues, but as I wrap up tonight, I want to go to the pictures once again of Subroto Arnav, Roy being taken in a police police point. van. Let's go to those pictures, pictures full frame. And and what is, what is the issue which is raised here? Tonight, many viewers will believe that this actually is an inversion of power. Very few people would have believed that Subroto Roy could have been taken in a police van. Why do political parties take the standard route today? Law will take its own course. Does the law take its own course vis-a-vis -vis powerful people with strong political interests? That's the broader question tonight. And we'll follow the story of the arrest, the drama, and the custody. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on debate number one tonight.